This is important. By definition, a filmmaker makes films and videos for others to watch and enjoy. There's a very basic skill that some filmmakers do naturally and most don't even know exists. You can develop this skill and it will improve your writing, your shooting, your editing, and the acceptance of what you make. But before I cover that skill, you must fully understand the following. You should have in mind who the type of person is that will be watching your film or video. That's called intended audience. If your intended audience is everyone, then don't make your film or video. Trust me, everyone is not an audience. People who like romantic comedies with a happy ending is an audience. People who like filmmaking, DIY videos is an audience. People who like cars may be an audience, but a better audience definition would be people who like fast, expensive cars. Filmmakers may be an audience, but beginning filmmakers is a better defined audience. Once you clearly define who the audience is for your film or video, you should do enough research to be able to fully understand that audience you are making your film or video for. Generally, you want to know their likes, their dislikes, their attention span, what they eat, where they shop, and everything about that audience until you feel you fully understand them. This is what good actors do. They can be the person they are portraying. A good horror movie to someone over 50 is not the same as a good horror movie to someone under 20. They're a different audience and have different ideas of what a good horror movie is. Also, taste change quickly, so never assume you know the audience, even if you're part of that audience. All men like cars, fast movies, and steak. All women like chocolate, shopping, and purses. Watch it on these all or everyone statements. They're not well defined, and they're not true. So define your audience and do your research. Now comes developing that skill I was talking about, and it's easy to develop if you really know your audience, which is why I tried to hammer that point home. It's called viewpoint, and don't confuse this with something else. Let me explain. When you're scripting, shooting, or editing, you need to be able to take off your hat as the writer, director, or editor, and view what you have done as if you're looking through the eyes of someone from your intended audience for the very first time each and every time you review it. You can't do that if you don't know who your audience is. Okay, you're reading a scene from a script. The film is a comedy and the intended audience is teenagers. The father in the scene is giving some important life lecture to the teen in the shot. Every word that the father says is awesome and the teen is on the edge of his chair listening to the father's wise and worldly advice. If you're a father, you can see how this scene works in the film, but it doesn't because that's your opinion, not the opinion of your teenager audience that you researched. So, you reread this scene using the viewpoint of a teenager, your intended audience, realize it's crap, rewrite it, and end up with a 10 second long scene that fits the film. The father is now in the background. We can just hear him off camera a little bit, going blah, 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 as the teen is texting to his girlfriend saying, yeah, dad, got it, okay, sure, dad. It's not whether you think the scene works for you, it's whether the scene works for the audience, who you are making the film or video for. If you don't care about that, then you'd better realize you're making your film or video for you, which is fine, but don't be surprised if other people don't like it or don't track with it. Let's say you're editing eight minutes of a video you're creating. Your girlfriend is playing the main character. She's a really good actor. She's really pretty and is great to look at. You end up with seven minutes of her in the first cut. Now, when you review your edit, at least take on the viewpoint of someone else watching this. They don't know who your girlfriend is, and they may not think she's eye candy. My apologies to your girlfriend. Now, you end up with a 30 second cut, the point of the scene was made, and your audience likes the scene, except maybe your girlfriend. The point is, really define and understand who your audience is, then honestly research and know your audience. Then, every time you review what you wrote, shot, or edited, shift from your viewpoint to the viewpoint of your intended viewer and do it as if you've never seen it before. If your film or video is made for a large audience, then you'll have to shift to, to each type of viewer doing it each time as if you've never seen it before. It doesn't matter whether it's a wedding video, a DIY video, a tutorial on burning toast, or an epic three-hour sci-fi film. Shifting your viewpoint takes some practice. But being able to view your work through another eyes is a fundamental skill you should have when creating your films and videos. If you really understand this and practice it while writing, shooting, and editing, it will become second nature to you. 
And I guarantee you'll see a huge improvement in your films and videos as this is one of the most basic fundamental tools a filmmaker or any artist for that matter can develop. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. What am I doing?